Okay, one of the viewers wrote in that they were having trouble when they used a vise on a small drill press about lining up with their holes. Well, I remember way back when I started doing all this stuff, instructor had us have our T-bolts in here, we bolted down our vise, you clamp down your part, and then you try and move the vise. You move the vise a little bit, uh, your T-nut is always trying to pull it back straight, and it just doesn't want to go where you want it to. You loosen, the column rotates around, you're on an arc. It's just a problem. Uh, if you look at this vise right here, this table, I mean, there's really, it doesn't even have a place for T-bolts. And that's the way a lot of the industrial small ones are set up. You just loosen the vise, put the vise where you want it, pick up on your center mark, and then attach the vise some other way, which these C-clamp vise grips work really good in hand. Then you're already in position, you're not wasting time. A lot of times people, uh, there's things you can do where you do want to be able to bolt this down and that's why I added some bolt holes in here for an extra base actually. But if you're just doing stuff quick, you don't need to mess with the T slots even if they're there. And they don't need to line up, they don't need to go in any specific place. Another thing you can do, small hole this size here, uh, if your vise is fairly good size like this, you can just let it float. You don't even have to bolt it down, you can just hang on to the vise and drill the hole. You need to be careful as you're coming through the end because coming through the end, it will try and lift the vise and can break your drill bit, cause you problems. Uh, this vise here, actually for a job, which is one of the things you want to look for, is you don't want to be drilling holes into your vise. This one, if you look on the end, we milled a slot in here so that we were doing a lot of repetitive holes towards the end and that way we weren't uh, tearing it up. It gave us an index. Uh, actually, I think that was an index point. I think there was a part actually fit into it and it was exactly, that was where we wanted the piece to fit, but this was over on the milling machine. I don't have a small vise to go on here and show you, and I don't have the T-slots in the table. Um, now, on the other side of this, one of the things that also you can do, you have your point here, and instead of just strictly leaving it floating, you put one clamp, whether it's a T-nut, a bolt, whatever, so that the vise cannot rotate. So. You can, it'll wobble your holes sometimes a little bit, but the uh, table wasn't locked, but it will come up against here and it'll give you the safety of the vise can't rotate by having one piece to lean it against and otherwise you still can freely position it until it runs up against that. Um, you can do things on these by adding a, uh, you can add an XY stage. You can get all kinds of fancy stuff that you can do at home if you need to, but in a normal shop, you're using them for second operation. The hole is already there. We're just trying to line up on the old hole. We're just letting things move on their own. We are uh, not using it as a first tool. If you are using it as a first tool, and a lot of times they do that in school, they'll have you use this for a first tool for one of two reasons, either so that you realize how hard it is and how much you're gonna to have to learn to get used to using this and being able to do precision work without having indicator dials on a milling machine, without having a CNC or anything else. Or the other thing which really makes me sick that I see today is they put you on a machine like this, ask you to do the impossible, and they do that so that you're gonna pay homage to the mighty CNC and never learn how to do it properly with manual machines. That's something I've seen too, which makes me wanna throw up. Um, we, uh, Another thing here, which can be brought into mind, besides your vise there, I don't know, I did buy a nice little uh, vise for this drill press when I first got it, regular drill press vise. I don't know what I did with it. We couldn't find it because we don't use it. We just use this for secondary operations and smooth stuff. But here's another thing that I've seen before is people will just use a standard universal vise and it works pretty nice sometimes for the kind of homework that you would be doing on drill press. You can clamp all kinds of things in here, rotate around, get different angles, and then again, just let it slide till you get it where you want it. Um, you gotta be a little creative, but don't get yourself in trouble. The main thing I'm guessing that is going on is the person that was writing to me, it sounded like they're having a hard time lining things up. They're probably fighting a position of where T-bolts, T-slots, nuts, something, says that the vice is trying to put the vice in a general line or a general area, which makes it nearly impossible. My, uh, my first shop teacher had us with one, which is why it took, why it went in my mind. We had a, a drill press 
had a T-slot that went across and it was just about centered with the vise we had for the general range of where the drill bit would work. And the project we had to do would allow you to use that vise, but you had to be dead centered and then you had to get your part just right and you had to wiggle on the T-slots a little bit. It never even dawned on me how messed up this was as a process till I got out in industry and there's guys using these things without even bolting down the vise. And I'm like, oh, okay, a lot easier. <laughs>